Take your motor stick blank here. Go ahead and pop it out. And there's this little triangular piece here. Pop that out as well. Now set that down here so the grain is going diagonally. So what I'm going to do, show you, I don't know if it shows up, but the grain of that triangle is going that direction. And I must have got an accelerator on the end of my CA nozzle. So you can see now how it's attached. Now take your piece of piano wire and what you're going to want to do is bend a about a quarter inch of it to an angle like that and match that angle sorry, to this. So you see I've got it a little too sharp. Okay, now, set that aside just for a moment, because there's one other thing we want to do before we attach that component, and that is to go ahead and pop this tail boom out. This is your tail boom. Notice there is an angled part here. So on the left side of your motor stick, as the motor stick faces, points that way, we're going to line this up, and so you want to line up the front of that angled portion, the bottom part of it, with the bottom of the motor stick, just like that. So if you'll notice, what that results in, if I have this lined up, you can see that the, motor, the tail boom sticks up like that. Lay your carrier sheet from your tail boom over here like so, so that you can get these exactly parallel using that as a brace. You can see there's a little crook right here where it stops, where it kind of curves in, and that's where you line up on the end of your um, motor stick. So you can see how that lines up. This is straight, curve, and then it straightens out right here. And that, so that apex there is where, the, um, where you set up your overlap on the motor stick. Now, take that piece of piano wire, and we're going to glue it in place like we showed you a minute ago. So it's going to go in just like that. Now, get that sitting there. I'm going to get out my binding thread. If I can break it loose from the tape, there we go. And I'm going to use that binding thread to wrap around here and hold this piece of wire in place. Now what I'm doing is I'm wrapping around the end of it where it comes out there right here. So I want the thread to wrap around that, and so I keep coming back around, wrap around all the way, not the boom, and back around like that. And two or three wraps of it like that. 
is enough. And we'll work our way back around here. Make a couple of wraps there, and that should be good. And now just rub CA all into it so that it doesn't go anywhere. So now you have this arrangement. Now what we will do is down about here and bend this thing straight back like that. Now I'm going to snip it about there and there's my rear hook assembly on my plane if it shows up. Now, don't lose the rest of your thread because we're going to need the rest of it right now. So, this is your aluminum thrust bearing. I'm going to thread my prop shaft into it from behind just to get some alignment here. Attempt to. There we go. Now, face is, so this is the front of the bearing. This is the back. This is the shaft. It mounts onto your motor stick like that. Now, here is a very important thing. From this face to the apex, the back of this, to this part where the um, wood meets the wire there, right there that can be no more than 10 inches. So what you want to do is make sure that with it all set in place it's less than 10 inches. And I'm getting uh, 9 and 3 quarters on mine. A little less than that actually. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this uh, underside of my motor stick here with glue. I'm going to attach this in place with the prop shaft in here, and here's why. I want to make sure that the prop shaft is parallel to the motor stick in this direction. So you can see it sits parallel there roughly. Make sure, yeah, it sits nice and parallel. No offset to either side. Now we're going to take our thread here and do the same thing we did on that uh, rear hook, except maybe a little more vigorously, even, because we do not want that thrust bearing to come loose. And there we go. Now, at this point, we can start doing some of our assembly here. Except drop all 
those back in there. All I want is the polyamide tubing. And so you can cut this into two pieces that are about three-eighths or so of an inch long. I'll just toss the excess aside. Now, again, on our wing, there are an even number of ribs in this center panel. So the center line is a halfway mark here, so these notches here should be offset there to the side. We're actually going to glue the um, tubes to the outside here of the wing, so we're just using those as markers for lining all this up. So I'm going to put one on the back here. just want to make sure that it's straight up and down. And that does take a little practice. And we'll do the same thing at the front. And so the wing posts are in place. On your wing spar sheet, you still have three more parts in here. You have the propeller spar hub assembly, and then you have these two uprights over here. Now, if you watch on these, They may be, they should be a little bit wider in this dimension, the non-laser cut dimension, wider this way and this way. So that means that the laser cut part goes to the sides. Why that's important is we are about to insert these into these tubes. They may or may not fit loosely, it depends. In my case they don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just scrape this razor blade around the top here a little bit. To kind of break the corners a little. Actually, I'm going to just kind of round off the very top here. Let's get those tubes to fit in there. A little bit too tightly. You don't want to um, squish the tubes. So, what we'll do is we'll extend that rounding down a little bit further. And be careful because it only takes a little bit because you do want these tubes to fit tightly just not so tightly that um, they break loose when you try to slide the wing on and off. Since I already know the one fit kind of aggressively, go back here and do the same thing. in nicely as well. Again, this is the laser cut is on the sides. And that's just so that um, it's a little wider in this dimension, which gives you more uh, bending resistance that way. Now, the way these attach is they just attach vertically right here, and there are those notches just like what we had. Hang on, let me show you those little notches. All those are doing is showing you where along the motor stick this part goes. So what we'll do is we'll attach the front post here. I'm going to try to get it as straight up and down as we can. Like that. Now for this rear post, our main concern is not having it straight up and down that way. It's making sure I don't have any wing twists. See that? That right there? I want to have 
no wing twist and I still have some. There we go, kind of like that. I am noticing, yep, my front spar is not completely straight. Squirt the glue on, line up, and just like that. So if you notice, the post is not straight up and down, and I don't care about that. All I care about is that post providing me correct alignment of this spar and this spar, which it is. Now take your horizontal stab. The horizontal stab, if you will look, has an odd number of ribs. There are these notches right here. So that means that if I set my tail boom here, the side is going to be longer. So what I want is for the left side to be longer than the right. Like this. You can see my, the orientation of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue down the back first. This sits on top of the boom, doesn't overlap over it or anything like that. It just sits square on top. With no tilt, so straight relative to the wing. You can see the front's tilted off a little, that's okay. So this is our positioning and everything. Now we'll come in here on the front. We'll squirt some glue in. There I go on the front. Just remove any twist in that stab. Which I'm doing this sighting off of the camera so it's a little hard to tell. But there we go. Now, the last step is the rudder. The rudder, or vertical tail I should say, does not fit on here square like this. Instead, it mounts to the fin and then onto the center rib there, like that, to give you some offset. So what we'll do is we'll glue it actually to that rib right there. Kind of line it up onto the tail boom. So we've got that. I'm coming over here onto the bottom of the tail boom. Nah, it's not all the way dry, hardened, or whatever. It's coming off. You do want to try to get it um, straight up and down, though. There, now it'll stay put. CK is being stubborn again. And there we go. So, the airframe now is complete and we're ready to finish up our propeller. And uh, there we go. Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.